I swam through the river of blood. I kept my head up high. Lifeless, I thought, as my hands waded through the thick cream of man's existence. Gushing forth through the thick red streams, even my tears had a shade of crimson red. Fallen from grace into this place, a dark world, where you couldn't see in front of your face, as if a mist had occurred, but there was no mist, it was self-illusory. I took a dive under the level of blood-red water, to the murky depths below. From there I could see clearer somehow, I could see the bodies that laid on the bottom. Blood gurgling from their wounds. From below, looking above, I could see the dark night sky. The stars piercing white holes, like candles burning bright. But shadows was all that was cast. I reached back to the surface, I continued to swim. For all was left in this place was water. Was I the only survivor left to see mankind at its destiny? The river of blood, our home forever. We made it ourselves, not by stealth or construction, but by our actions and deeds. Through misinformation, topical agenda, money and greed. We love ourselves and lost the others. Eventually all that remained, tied down to the bottom, looking up at the stars, back to those below, had been tainted yellow. For all things were not any more as they had once seen. I swam the last meter of the river of blood. I reached the end. Like a wall, the end of the world. My arms fully tired. I sank to the bottom, forced to join my fellow brothers. Now, too, I lied, blood gushing forth in the endless, eternal river of blood.